Good day and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I'm your host, the Voice of Reason. So fighting uh, continues inside of, uh, well, not inside of uh, the Tigray region, but the uh, TDF, the the Tigray Defense Forces, are penetrating deeper and deeper into the Amhara region along multiple advance routes. Um, We uh, can confirm today that that, uh, the TDF uh, has fully secured the town of Kobo. Uh, Prior to uh, this video, uh, I had reported that the TDF had sealed off Kobo and had effectively controlled Kobo. Um, However, the the, the TDF uh, reportedly are now uh, actually entering the town of Kobo and are looking to uh, eliminate the remnants of any uh, form of uh, Amhara militias that may still uh, lie away inside of the town. Uh, these forces of the Amhara militia uh, inside of Kobo are, are, are fairly disorganized uh, and, and probably would not uh, have the ability to put up uh, much resistance, as it does appear that uh, more regular TDF units Uh, are uh, positioned in and around Kobo and moving south. The next question is, uh, is uh, Weldia going to fall? And that is the next town due south of of Kobo. And uh, if we if we look at uh, the uh, the distances um, of the advance uh, by the uh, the TDF and, and, and obviously Kobo is, is just under 10 miles uh, from the border. And uh, if you go further south, uh, Weldia is 30 miles uh, deep into the Amhara region. Now I will say this, if uh, we can confirm that uh, Weldia falls and uh, there is not a great deal of resistance uh, by Amhara militias, or more specifically, the Ethiopian army. That would mean the Ethiopian army has, for all intents and purposes, really collapsed. It is no longer an effective offensive fighting organization and probably lacks even the ability to mount basic defensive operations as well. So what does that mean? Well, I think we have talked about the the possibility that the TDF could be looking for some sort of regime change inside of Addis Ababa. And I would say that uh, given the the level of uh, defensive operations by the Ethiopian army, and we have seen the, the this rapid advance uh, by the TDF. Uh, I would say that if we do see uh, Weldia fall, which is 30 miles into uh, the the Amhara province, um, we could quite possibly. Now, this is again, I'm saying quite possibly see a fairly rapid movement towards Addis Ababa. If uh, the regime has kind of gone into a porcupine mode where it is trying to protect itself and it has positioned only its most loyal units uh, and, and, and some of them may be well trained, some of them may not be as well trained, but we do know, for instance, the, the Republican Guard is in Addis Ababa. There are some commando units uh, that are of higher higher quality that uh, could have been moved to Addis Ababa to prop up the regime forces and uh, protect itself from any form of Oromo Liberation Army activity that has been reported uh, as far as uh, around uh, 60 kilometers from Addis Ababa. And that activity is increasing. So the, the ability of the TDF to, to make these rapid advances um, are glaringly apparent. And uh, unfortunately for the state of Ethiopia, these regional militias 
uh, are really untrained forces. Now they, they, they define them as special forces. But please understand, these are not special forces in the terms of, of, of Western or any other uh, real special forces. All, all that means is they are, they are armed and uh, somewhat trained uh, regular paramilitaries. They are a regular force, and because they are a semi-regular force, that makes them a special force. However, uh, it is it is by no means a tier one uh, special operations force. When you hear that definitions of Amhara Regional Special Forces or Afar Special Forces, that is not what they are. They are simply a, a little better trained than an ordinary militia group uh, that is a part-time force. That is what the TDF is facing. And many of these uh, Ethiopian regular army units were utterly mauled in the Tigray region. And uh, many of these uh, Ethiopian army units were then chased and further dissolved uh, inside of the Afar region as well. And uh, now we're not just seeing a, an advance uh, deep into, uh, into what we would call the Amhara region or Ethiopia proper as the TDF presses towards Waldea. And uh, uh, just to be frank, there could be uh, uh, TDF forces uh, as we speak uh, very close to Weldia, if not preparing to move into Weldia. That's, that's how quickly things are kind of operating right now. Uh, we also have uh, confirmed that, uh, that the TDF has uh, sealed off uh, Adia Arke, and uh, that has, has happened very recently as well, and that's a, uh, a, a position of strength uh, for the TDF uh, to prevent uh, any form of uh, uh, penetration back into uh, uh, the, uh, the Tigray region. Uh, this would be a strong point, a defensive strong point, as you can see, uh, as the uh, as the TDF controls it. And uh, then, obviously, in in the West, um, I think we could see things resolve themselves fairly quickly as the TDF continue uh, to penetrate deeper and deeper into the Amhara region. And um, uh, obviously, these forces, unless they are propped up. Uh, by the Eatrian army, which is which is, again is still very possible. Um, if, if that is not the case, uh, again we could see a, a rapid fall of the of the western border. But right now, uh, the combat power of the Tigrayan defense forces are more focused on a drive. Uh, it would appear south and uh, creating that, uh, that buffer zone in the Afar region as well and, and eliminating any form of opposition that could uh, come back to threaten Mekele from the Afar region. Uh, but again, it looks like a uh, pretty firm defensive line has been set up in the Afar region while a, uh, a, a major operation is underway uh, to continue to press south. And uh, does that mean eventually the road ends here? And that is obviously Addis Ababa, also known as Finfine for the uh, OLA and OLF. Uh, becoming more and more probable as the day goes on. Now, I, I would envision that um, uh, preparations are being made uh, by the Prosperity Party, by Abiy Ahmed, uh, does he uh, launch a counteroffensive? Can he launch a counteroffensive? Not sure. Sure, he can right now. Um, is he looking at real estate options in Dubai? I think that is a possibility. I really do at this point. Uh, Mr. Abiy Ahmed uh, could be spending Christmas in Dubai. But uh, we will see how that unfolds. Um, outside of that, uh, I will continue to update, advise, and have a great day, everybody.